Hi and welcome back to another video of JPlay. I am Marcus and today I'm walking through a couple of rounds of Eco Coral Reef designed by Itzig Nevo and published by Unique Board Games who also brought you games like Hero Path and Free Market. All of these three games are completely different. Hero Path is really this adventure kind of game where you are pretty much trying to defeat a dragon in a competitive, cooperative or even solo scenario. Free Market is a pretty much brutal economic kind of games where you are outsmarting your components and yeah, basically gaining more money than everyone else. And this one is more or less a relatively simple tie laying games, tie laying games in, yeah, in the deep ocean of a coral reef here and that's what I'm walking you through today. I'm not sure if I will be doing a full playthrough of this game or not. Let's see how things go but yeah I'm curious. Are you? Okay and here we are. This is pretty much the setup for a two-player game. It doesn't really change thing if you play it with two, three or four players actually. Only basically the amount of players and Every player starts with two random of those picture tiles. I believe these are or coral tiles these are referred to. And in case I didn't mention it, this is a review copy. So thanks so much for Unique Board Game to provide me with one of those. Or so take everything I say with a pinch of salt. But typically when I do these kind of videos, I keep my opinion to a minimum. Of course, I will still tell you if I like certain things or if I don't like particular things, obviously. And yeah, I think with that being said, let's get started again. That's a two player game. Let's put this aside. These two meeples do not come with the game. They simply help me to identify the player. So we have the blue player being the starting player with this nice turtle here. And we have the red player. These are the two tiles that each of the players start with. Again, totally random. Maybe let's have a quick look at those. So here we have pretty much a wildcard tile. Those solo animals, I think there are six or five out there as far as I can recall. They can, yeah, are pretty much wildcards. You can use them for any tiles, at least in respect to laying out particular patterns. I come to that in a second. And here we have a tile with exactly three fish. Which three fish are on them doesn't really matter too much. It's simply a three fish tile and all three fish tiles look pretty much the same at least in respect to the fishes here in the middle. Those corals that you see around the edges of the board they really also do matter and they will change from tile to tile. And interestingly enough Red also started the game with basically two tiles that show three fish each. Not sure if that's of any importance right now but I find it rather interesting. In this game, which is a tile laying game, you try to build a coral reef with those population or I think picture tiles, really strange naming here in these things. And the game lasts in a two player game until one of the player reaches 40 points or more. You still, still play the round to the end so everyone gets equal turns and then you pretty much tally up your final score. Um, these crystals, if you earn them, will gain you one point each unless you are spending those, then they're out of the game. Each mission tile you still have on your hand will cost you two points and then that's pretty much it. You will really score the vast majority of your points throughout the game Yeah, in order and try to make it to 40 points as quickly as possible. During your turn you take three actions each and an action is either taking a tile uh, from the public display, this can be a picture or a mission tile and yeah it needs to be available as it is or you can also take it from the tile decks if you don't like the offering there or you are placing uh, one of your tiles for one action. And again, you're only placing those so-called picture tiles, the coral tiles. The mission tiles is something that you can score throughout the game pretty much at any point yeah, during your turn. That is, if you are matching the proper conditions of those mission tiles. And yeah, let's get started with blue. This is the current offering of this place. During setup, you always put out one of those wildcard solitude creatures out there. Um, later on, pretty much this cap is a three unless you're using a crystal but I think I come to that a little bit later on. So we have two twos and we have a four here and that's already one of the complaints I'm having with this game sometimes it's really difficult to identify those picture coral tiles. A number of on those tiles would have helped and I already considered my basically to paint it on them myself actually to really make it a clear two here for example and a clear four here. Right now you might ask hey that's pretty clear what is this but trust me if 
when those coral tiles are out there in the coral, we're building a relatively large coral in the end, things get really, really tricky, um, identifying the patterns and whatnot. Then um, we have these two missions. So we have the missions which you can typically let's say try to resolve in three different ways. The most obvious one is to basically get a diagonal line of the same picture tile. So basically a di diagonal line of fishes that show or of picture tiles that show two fishes each. That's basically the easiest one. And the same is true here. You have to do this uh, checkboard kind of pattern here um, with basically picture tiles that show exactly two fish. Yes, you guessed it right. You can always do that with one of those wildcard tiles. You can place any one of those, but you will lose some points for that if you do so. The next thing is then basically you can do that in a straight, this pattern here. So it could be two fish, three fish, four fish and five fish. You don't need to be in the exact order. So two fish could be here. The five fish could be here, three fish. That's also fine. Also is allowed to use these um, solitude creatures here, those wild cards. Again, that's true for all of those mission tiles. And last but not least, you can always play those um, basically in a rectangular fashion, those mission tiles, but then they also have to be of the same fish. So this could be a rectangular shape somewhere later on in the reef, which also two fish on. And the same is true for this one here too. But I think we come to that later. We found you're not scoring an awful lot of mission tiles in this game. The majority of points, um, at least for us, is usually by creating pretty much matching pairs of those cores. And that's basically what Blue wants to consider now and to really think about what tiles do we want. As we have a lot of mission tiles here that require exactly two fish, getting those two tiles is pretty much a no-brainer, I would think. So I think with the first action, we are taking this tile. Display is not being refilled right away. That happens at the start of the next player's turn. Uh, so what's gone is gone. And let's go with this tile here. And yeah, in theory, we could start placing um, tiles out there, but I don't really see the need. So I think maybe with our first action or first turn, we are simply going to stock up in respect to those fish tiles here. The hand limit for picture and mission tiles are five each. So you can have five picture tiles and five mission tiles. I really don't know why they've chosen the word picture tile yet. Should be a coral tile. Um, but yeah, right now we are definitely or we are exactly at our hand size limit so we don't have to discard down so we are not placing any tiles so that's pretty much the end of the turn of the blue player we are moving over to red first thing that happens we are going to replenish up to three tiles and that's at least how i understand it this starting tile here will stay where it is so we are not basically um, adding three more tiles we are uh, basically adding up to three more tiles. Oh, these are two more twos. Oh, and I really shuffle those well. And I'm taking these from different stacks here. That's very interesting. So I think in order not to let those tiles go to the blue player too, and that's really what we also figured this game is a pretty mean one, actually. I think they have to pretty much hate draft those tiles away. So we may want to do something very similar now. So I think, yeah, we have to. Red has to one and two. Otherwise, blue will definitely take those and will be in a good shape um, resolving those tiles here. And should we then really start placing tiles, which doesn't give us anything? Should we go for maybe something here to take it away? from the other player too, but keep in mind every mission tile we are not able to score will cost us some points at the end of the game, or we will simply go with a wild card here because we don't have one or red doesn't have one. No, let's go for that. So that's basically also the end of the turn, very odd turn actually, um, but that's because as the tiles were laying out, usually we, what I figured you definitely would start placing some tiles early on actually. So let's replenish the offering for the blue player that is. Oh, another two, a five and a four. Yeah, that's a pretty, I think blue has to take, has to take this one too. I think that's the first action that blue is going to do. We only have to basically discard down at the end of our turn. So we better start placing some tiles now. And I think we have some good options here in order to do that. Let me think about that. As I briefly mentioned, um, you also get some points for or basically the majority of your points by placing 
the corals next to like colored um, corals here. And I think these two might be a good combination. We still have two more action left. So I think let's do that. So blue will take those two. And of course you do these one at a time. So that's our first action. That's a tile with four fish on it. These small fishes also don't really help actually to identify those and then we are placing the next tile in here or should we do it the other way around i think we will do it the other way around again right now it doesn't really matter too much and then we are scoring some first points finally for every coral that you're placing that is adjacent to a coral of the same color later on we also have some wild cards here those here for example the multicolored ones you will also score some points but they work a little bit differently you will again score a point so that's one point here and one point here, pretty much two points for the blue player. So finally, we are getting somewhere one and two points. And I really do like those little turtle meeples here. The one thing that you always have to consider is that all the tiles that the players have are pretty much laying in front of them face up. So you always know what the other players have. In a two player game, that's already tough enough because you have to check, will the other player be able to, I don't know, finish a coral, for example. And most likely red will do that. Playing this game for your own is already tough. Playing this for two players can be a nightmare um, because you have to look for yourself. You have to look for patterns in the coral reef. You have to look for, let's say, the opponents. It's really tough. So rest assured, I'm not playing this game ideal in any shape or form. It's a pretty brutal game. You really have to pay close attention. Um, that's why you will not see very ideal moves, but that's also, I think, deliberately to really show you or try to show you most of the intricacies that this game has to offer. So with that being said, I think that's pretty much the end of the blue player's turn. So we are moving over to red before red is starting their turn. We are going to reveal another tile. That's another five picture tile or coral tile with five fish on that. And again, I think red should be able to complete this coral. And the coral typically consists of four um, corners, pretty much. You can place any corners there, though you don't have to place them that they match. But of course, it, it, it definitely helps you. So what is red going to do? And red should be in a pretty good shape, actually. So we are starting with this tile. So that's the first action. We are placing it here. That's one, two points for the red player. I'm moving the turtle two steps ahead. And then we still have... Is there a... No, I think it doesn't matter too much right now. So we are placing this tile in here. Before I place it, I will show you that we are getting one point because this one is matching to one. It doesn't matter if it matches two. It's really this one point because it matches to one. And the same is true here. So that's two more points for red. Bring them up to four points. But because they finished this coral, and the coral has all same colors, you are also earning an additional three points, which moves the red turtle over to six points already. And whenever we are reaching these thresholds here, we are earning ourselves our crystals. We have two of those. We can use them for pretty much a bonus thing that we can do, adding more tiles to the display. Or again, if you have those at the end of the game, there's still one point each. Okay then, red still has an action. They still have three tiles left. Mm. The one thing that red now did was to make sure we are not scoring those tiles, at least not in the shape we are looking for. So we need diagonals with two fish. These are two fish here, but they are definitely not in a diagonal line. So they would have to be placed here. So that was also done deliberately because again, red knows blue has an awful lot of those twos. Then um, the same is true for this one here. They have to be in a checkboard pattern right now. They are next to each other. And so I think right now there is no immediate danger coming from these tiles. On the other hand, you have to also see that you can do these in straights, those checkboard patterns. So let's look at this checkboard pattern here. And yes, you can place those things in any orientation whatsoever, how it sees fit. Doesn't make the game any easier, but you <laughs> have to really pay attention. As I said, you can also um, fulfill those tiles by using a straight, for example. 
And this is where mm, things could get interesting. So we have a two here, we have a three here, for example. So this, if this would be a four, for example, um, this would help the straight, or this could be a one, or maybe even a five, for example, and the same is true. So this is definitely a tile which could be relatively achievable. Again, if you're taking those tiles early on, it's a risk because other players can tank your plan. And that's what we really found can be a very mean thing to do. Usually you're not doing it that often and sometimes you're simply missing all those things out there. But that's a pretty solid tile which should be solvable in various ways actually. Though I think Red is going to claim their first mission tile here. And that's the third action already. Just to prepare for the future rounds also. Right now they're in the lead so should be in an okay shape. That's the end of the Red player's turn. So moving back to to blue we don't reveal any more coral tiles but we're adding another mission tile that's another checkboard pattern this time with three fish each mm. that's also pretty cool for the red player because they have some three fish but those are also blue so i think right now let's not get too involved and i think there are overall five different shapes so i'm not sure why we are only seeing um all the same ones so there is pretty much let's call it a diamond shape there is a straight line for example and there is i think da da kind of shapes or corner shape for example so right now we only have seen those two but that's okay that's okay let's do something crazy and i would also say somewhat risky but let's do it anyway Mm, we are taking this tile here and adding it here. So again, blue gets one point because this is matching to one adjacent one. Here we are not getting anything, but that's another point moving up to three. Keep in mind, here are now two fish that are in a diagonal line. And this could be, in theory, this one here again. You, you can do them in any shape or orientation. So if we are able to place another tile here, we would have one, two fish here already. Uh, three fish already. Of course, the other players would see that too. And again, I'm playing it somewhat stupid now just to show you, um, let's say, what this game has to offer. So I guess with our third action, we are going to place a uh, second action. That is, we are placing these two fish over here. These are now wildcard corals, which still give you one point for each, let's call it matching coral you place them into. You can also finish off a complete coral with that, but then you're not gaining the full three points uh, like we saw here. They're only triggering one extra point, but it's only allowed to have one of those wildcards per coral. You can still place those, but again, you're not gaining the bonus points if you would place another wildcard in this corner and maybe another yellow one in here, for example. That would not qualify for any bonuses here but it's still two more points for the blue player i take that blue still has an action left and i think we are going with this mission tile here that was the plan all along that's the end of their turn the only thing that's getting replenished is this mission tile. another diagonal of fives now are you kidding me we are keep on seeing the same mission tiles again not the end of the world and again in a two-player game what we typically find is, yeah, you do overall in the game three, four, maybe sometimes five of those mission tiles, but really not an awful lot. In a three, four player game, it can be even diff more difficult because there are more possibilities for other players to tank you. But <laughs> usually you really try to do what's best for you and not just what's, let's say, bad for the others, obviously. Okay. Over to red. And again, keep in mind, we had this tile here, mm, though that's indeed this is a two this is a two but this is not a two so i think this doesn't help so i think we have to stick to the plan to do i don't know three a two three four something for example i think that's what we need to do so let's prepare that accordingly if we are going to go with this pattern here two three and then we should place, I don't know, a four or a three in here. Oh, that's a four. <laughs> yeah, let's do that, actually. So first action for red is we are placing this tile here. So that's a blue, that's a yellow. Perfect. Two more points for red, bringing them to eight points already. Nicely done. And again, the game is relatively fast paced once you know what you are doing. And I do a lot of thinking in between shots here, actually. 
So nice. That was the first action. And we can again do two, four, three. So we need a five here, for example, or we would need a wild card. And I think we can do that now, actually. And I think we should before something too crazy is going on. Yeah, let's do that. Second action is doing this here. Perfect. Really scoring an awful lot of points. One, two points here for those matching, bringing us to 10 points already. So we are scored our crystal here of the same color, but we are not done yet as we have completed this coral and they're all blue, which gives us one, two, three more points here. And then we still have one more action left. And again, I have to do the math right now. So we want the two four, three, and basically the five here. We don't have the five, but we have this turtle here, the solitary creature, which allows us to do that. It's even coming with two of those wild cards. And by the way, these are dead corals. They can also score you some points, not, not as quite as much. So we are scoring two more points, moving us to 15. And now we basically, as a free action during our turn, as our last thing, declaring, hey, we have completed this mission tile here again. We can do that with four tiles in this uh, chessboard figure with two fish, or we can do it with a straight, which we just did. Two, four, three. In this case, it's a one. It's a wild card. It's not really a one. Normally, you would score seven points for that tile, but for every wild card you're using, you're losing three points. But overall, not complaining. These are four more points for red, which was one, two, three, four. A pretty amazing turn for red, actually. This tile here. Um, will now basically be discarded, but because um, we more or less solve this tile by using, I think it's the coexistence rule of the mission scoring, which I said using different types of basically a straight. It doesn't even have to be a straight, I believe. It's simply different tiles that you have to use, but again, they come from two to five. So yeah, you will have to end up with some kind of a straight in the end. But again, they don't need to be in, this, in the proper order. Um, we are not placing this tile, basically discarding it face down. We are keeping it face up, which means this exact same tile of this shape here cannot be scored again with this coexistent rule because otherwise the next player could simply go in there and could pretty much score it again right away, uh, which is basically what, what this rule is denying. So we are taking it and yeah, I don't know. Let's place it like this so we are not forgetting it all. You can't see that, but it's here. Believe me. Wow, that pros a pretty massive turn for Red, who is at 19 points, whereas Blue is here at 5. Pretty disappointing stuff. What is Blue going to do about that? Again, they have this tile um, for the diagonals and ultimately... Oh, we can complete this one too, actually, with this and this we should be able to complete this unfortunately there is no tile out there with a two this would be perfect for blue and this would be also the perfect timing for the blue player to spend their blue crystal right now they don't have it unfortunately to bring out some more tiles here and hoping for a two because again for every wild card you are placing you're losing three points from the mission tile and that's in the position that blue is in really not great obviously maybe can we make it to 10 with a different action before we are actually scoring the mission tile and getting ourselves the crystal because this game is also all about timing in the end and i checked the tiles and i think uh, it's not going to happen in theory we can do something with that which score us four points for just this corner here with this piece but i don't know if that's really worth it on the other hand if they are not going to take that um they know that red is going to do that because there are definitely tiles out there with the one so i think we have to oh that's really bad now actually mm. so we could score four points by placing it in here because one point plus three points for completing it. Unfortunately, we are not scoring any extra points for those corners. So that's kind of a waste. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's make sure that red is not scoring those points. So I think we are going to place this tile in here again. One point plus three points for completing this, which unfortunately is not quite enough. One, two, three, four to make it to the 10 and getting ourselves the crystal. With our next tile, yes, we could 
do that and maybe we should do that because we can complete another tile we have still two more actions so we could still claim tile and place a tile and both of those are basically tasty i think it doesn't really matter too much let's simply take this one here yes and for our third action now again we placed a tile we grabbed a tile we placed another tile we are placing this here so that's one two points bringing us to 11 points so we got ourselves our crystal hooray the first one that is and because we finished this um thing here we will score one point but only one point because there is a wild card um coral in there at least that's how i understand the rule the example are not that clear but i think i got that one right but we will score one additional point here bringing us to 12 and i think that's overall not too bad for the blue player catching up a little bit because red is completely out of tiles right now no mission tiles no coral tiles whatsoever so i think they also have to now pretty much prepare for their upcoming rounds but that's the end of the blue player's turn let's move to red let's reveal another turn and that's a three hmm the three could be okay for this one here actually hmm i think that's pretty cool actually so with our first action we are grabbing this for sure are we going to place that right away or are we going to wait i th think we are going to place it it's not giving us let's say the maximum amount of points but i'm still okay with that this is matching that's a point this is matching that's a point mm, that's a risk no no i think we should be okay actually so two points for red bringing us to 21 so we have scored our second crystal i really have to move those turtles in the right direction i think this really helps you identifying the direction i really do appreciate those little arrows here on this zigzag kind of point track here we still have oh only one more action yes we grabbed and we placed that was maybe not great actually placing it but okay again i will not take things back i will also show you what happens if you do something wrong here but in this case i think it's rather clear that for the third action red is going to grab another mission tile this one here which they can i think complete in multiple ways actually so let's see um that's i think the end of the turn we grab one we place one and we grabbed another mission tire yeah, that's basically turn over we are revealed okay that's another shape finally that's this i don't know it's called a diamond shape form depending on how you put it and we are revealing another tile which is a three perfect for red but also so does the blue player no okay now the backstabbing starts actually but i also think oh no we don't have this anymore we need still a tile with a two we want to do the diagonals right so i guess blue is now going to spend their blue crystal that's out of the game for good and they decide to add two more tiles to the picture tiles okay that's a wild card that's not bad that's not bad we can use it we can use it and that's a two i mean that was really perfect so yeah let's totally for our first action and that's our first action we are grabbing this tile here and for the second action um i think does it matter in which orientation we place it i don't think so so we are placing it here so the other players do not gain anything out of this so first of all we are placing it it's still a match so that's a point bringing us to 13 but now we have this diagonal line of two 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 and two perfect job so we have scored this mission tile which we can do right away this is something we can simply place face down because um this was done exactly as it was requested to do so so it cannot come up again which is why we can simply ignore it but that will score the blue player one two three four five six seven points making it to 20 which gives them their second crystal we spent something but i still think it was most certainly worth it and we still have an action actually so i guess we could place a tile here the problem is hmm, that's that's really a problem actually no it's not right one two no i think we are okay actually i think think we are okay we could place the three here because this tile 
doesn't really score that well for the red player. That's already something where you have to also think through the turns of the other players. Similar to games like Age of Steam where you have to also see what the other players can do and you have to see what they could come up with. This is very similar here but can really drive you to um, headache. No, I think if red wants to do that they would go something like this maybe so i think placing a tile here should be okay so we are pretty much i don't know doesn't matter too much in which alignment or does it i think it does because here we'll get some more points actually so one point one point one point three points for blue one two three moving us to 23 and because we have finished off this coral here it has one wild card in it unfortunately we are still scoring only one extra point but wow 24 points who thought about this they were awfully behind and really has caught up with red and even yeah are pretty much in a lead for now but also down to zero tiles whatsoever so you really it's always going to prepare a turn play a turn and then you pretty much start from fresh but Definitely, definitely very, very much enjoy. But I think that was basically the end of the blue player's turn. We are not revealing any more tiles. So over to red and I think for sure they will grab this tile here for their first action. So let's slide this one in, which pretty much shows, okay, this is, we are not refilling right now as it is. We are only filling up to three and any leftovers we will simply let them there. So let's see if blue made a mistake. No, I think not. Three, 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 because that's a wild card and another three. I think we want to still do that. We want to score stuff, right? So I guess, um, I think it doesn't matter in which orientation we are placing it. So we are placing it here. It will still score as a point. This is matching, this not. So you're not getting points for matching a green tile, for example, to a wild card. Only the other way around, obviously. So that's one extra point, bringing us to 22 points already. And now we have the pattern, right? Three, 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 three. Perfect. That's our checkboard pattern. Normally it would be seven points, but because we use at least one wild card, and if using multiple wild cards, you're using three points for each of those, basically down to one point maybe. But that's still four points for the red player. I totally take that. One, two, three, and four. Four. This tile can be now discarded also face down because we cannot score it the same way here because there's only one tile that shows exactly this zigzag or checkboard pattern with three fish so we can basically simply discard it for good. Um, and I think these were two actions so we still have one more action left and maybe I should have paid attention to this tile here because if red will be able to score it they pretty much could take it right away and maybe that's something I also missed for the blue player. Let's have a look at our coral now or coral reef right now. So we need diamond shaped form with five fish. I think we don't have that many five fish tiles out there. We have one here. Uh, we would need one here here so that's not going to happen but can we do this trade for example. So we have five three three two no that doesn't work here maybe four three two two doesn't also work three two three also doesn't really work what's with this one here three three two no also doesn't help us hmm. but i still think that this is one of the tiles that is pretty much solvable relatively soon maybe it is already solvable and i simply don't see it yet two two no i think think at least right now not yet three to two no i think not i think not again doesn't really matter the orientation can we do maybe the rectangle form of five tiles no we don't have five tiles not a lot of those out there no here is a five no, no, I think not. So there is no real point taking this tile right away. So we could simply go for another tile out there. And as there are two mission tiles out there that demand five fish tiles, I think going for this one is pretty much a no brainer. And I guess that's the end of red player's turn. I at least I think they take one, they placed one, they've taken another one. Yeah. We should be good. Let's reveal another tile, another five fish um, coral tile. Also good for the blue player who is also down to pretty much zero picture or coral tiles. 
but I think you should have a pretty good understanding of how this game is actually played. It's very thinky. I would really say this is a absolutely thinky filler. It's not endless, but depending of how prone to AP you are, the longer this game can actually take. It has some, I would not really call it backstabbing, but there are some, let's say, opportunities to really stab someone in their back. Um, when you see certain patterns to appear and maybe the same thing for taking something away from another player will also grant you a lot of victory points. This game is all about timing and yeah, that's, that's pretty much the crucial piece, making sure that you're placing those tiles in the right order, not waiting too long and also not taking mission tiles too early so that other players are able to tank you. So that's basically what this game is all about. We usually don't play that meme actually but i could imagine that playing with the let's call it quote unquote wrong people that this is something that could can happen so if i don't win you don't win basically <laughs> um yeah i think that's exact or especially something that could happen not so much in a two-player game but maybe in a three or four player game if you're really awfully behind you can pretty much tank the game for everyone but yeah don't do that don't be like that again the only thing um i like the representation here the only thing that gets a little bit confusing is indeed the layout of these tiles yeah i think the more you play with it the more it grows on you the more you will be able to see those patterns actually um but yeah if you're playing it for the first one two three times or so you everything starts to blur together okay that's a three oh no that's a two I mean they have chosen the right set of fish in the end um, to make it clear so you don't typically see the same fish on those tiles but maybe I don't know colors wouldn't help here I guess because yeah you still want the, the aesthetics of a coral reef I totally get that and it looks really nice those corals here but maybe having some numbers in the corners here for example or a big three here I don't know if this would have made a difference here but because it's, it's really tough seeing these patterns in here and sometimes you simply stare at these things for two or three minutes or so <laughs> to just make sure okay uh, am i missing right now am i missing something right now for example but apart from that really really nicely done but again take everything i say here with a pinch of salt and yeah that's pretty much how you play eco coral reef and before i say goodbye a huge shout out to all of my patrons and channel members out there really really do appreciate all your support right now there is still a giveaway on my page on patreon exclusively for channel members and patrons so you can win yourself a copy of a game a relatively small game but a pretty cool game I might showcase this game on my channel in the next couple of days. Let's see if I find some time or not, but I should be okay. So if you want to find out, join me on Patreon, join me here on YouTube and you can win yourself a copy. And with that being said, like and subscribe, leave a comment, everything helps. And yeah, hope to see you soon in one of my other videos. And until then, bye bye.